get to your phone calls coming up. ESPN let Kenny Mayne go after 27 years, and uh, that announcement came out yesterday. I got a chance to anchor with Kenny for a few years. In fact, he came in after Keith Oberman left, and uh, Kenny was my tag team partner at the 11 o'clock Sports Center. He's just a great soul, and uh, I enjoyed being around him. He loved to laugh, and uh, very creative, funny, had a style that was unique. And uh, I don't know how many sports centers he was doing, but uh, Kenny will be fine. Knowing Kenny, he'll, he always seems to find the sunshine. Yeah, Paul. I remember really specifically when, when Keith left and you were paired with Kenny, that was a big, big deal to us, the consumer of ESPN, because I, there's a lot of pressure on a guy like that to work well with you because the bar was so high with Keith leaving. And it, he was really fun right off the bat. Like he didn't, shy away or seem scared he, he jumped right in was you guys had a good back and forth yeah and there was a lot of pressure then because he was nothing like Oberman in his style his approach they were two different uh, people and I remember that I I think a lot of Rich Eisen brought it up to me yesterday he said who made that call for Kenny to replace Keith and I remember I was on a camping trip with my son he was in the, the uh Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts and um uh, I didn't have phone service. Like, I wasn't involved in, in that decision, believe it or not. Nothing. But I, internally, people were saying, you know, hey, who are you going to pick? And I, I kept saying, I'm, I'm not making this pick. Because I didn't want to pick somebody and then have management not like who I picked. I, you know, because they do these focus groups and all this stuff. And I just said, who do you want to see at 11 o'clock every night? You guys decide. Because I wasn't going to do it. Um, and Kenny came in and Kenny was just, so I, I work with Bob Lee and I had to kind of figure out how Bob and I were going to do this. Then I worked with Keith. We had to figure that out together. Kenny was the same way. You kind of have to figure out each other because there is some rhythm, you know, synchronicity in, in doing it. And you're there every, you're with them more than you are anybody else in your life. You're there nine, 10 hours a day. And that person, you're doing live TV and, you know, how do you help them? How do they help you having that chemistry? And, uh, you know, there, there's magic to it, believe it or not. You can try. You can try your damnedest. That doesn't mean that it works. Uh, Oberman and I never, ever discussed our relationship, what we do on the air. Never. Never talked about what we were writing. Never talked about how we were going to deliver something. Did you go into shows not knowing the other guy's writing and bits or, yeah. or tone or any direction? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. And I didn't want to know because I wanted to react naturally and I wanted him to react naturally. And, you know, we were able to make that work. Bob Lee was a great partner, too. He really taught me how to do Sports Center, to be a, 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 a journalist uh, on Sports Center. Keith taught me about entertainment. Uh, Kenny taught me about sense of humor, you know, just how to use it, subtlety. And Kenny had a, an unbelievable arm. He was like a third-string quarterback at uh, UNLV when Randall Cunningham was there. Kenny had an absolute gun. Unbelievable arm. Unbelievable arm. Crazy. Yeah, Paulie. Yeah, Kenny Maine, uh he actually played a little bit at UNLV. He threw uh, three touchdowns in two years. He had like 637 yards. He played. And I think he got a tryout with he, – he tore up his ankle or something like that, but I think he got a tryout with your Bengals. Mm. And then he went into journalism. He was making garbage cans. He was making garbage cans, I think, in Seattle. And he sent a note to my boss basically saying, hey, check the box here. Do you uh, want to hire me? Oh, my gosh, you can't pass this up to, no, nah, you better stay with what you're doing. And then another option was uh, maybe uh, try something else for, uh, you know, your future. And he got the job from John Walsh.